it's your boy Twin Plays here, back in another video. Hope you guys are all doing amazing. So today in this tutorial, we're gonna be talking about how to make a uh, game feedback system. Now, this is something you can add into any of your games, and I will probably be adding this into uh, my cafe series and things like that. But this is just a little system. Um, I want to quickly note that I actually did not originally create this. This was made by How to Roblox. Um, he's a wonderful scripter out there. He's making all these amazing tutorials, um, following in his steps for sure. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to just make a little version that has a top bar with it and it's something you guys can use because I know a lot of you guys also need it, but I think some of you guys just haven't seen it, which is weird. But um, yeah, if you're new to my channel, feel free to hit the subscribe button. Uh, it means a lot, you guys. Um, this tutorial is honestly quite, quite simple, but it is a little more complex in the scripting terms. But um, like I said, um, everything is in the description, so go down below if you need to join Discord for help. Uh, feel free to do that. Um, but everything will be in the description below and you're basically just going to grab the model. Um, it's going to be this right here, and um, you can download this, whatever's easier. Oh, I guess it already blocked his username. I don't know why I did that, but um, yeah, it originally was created by HowTo Roblox, so amazing, uh, amazing, amazing scripter, and I left everything in this, of course, in here, uh, but yeah, to load it in, you just go to Toolbox right here, and you can um, uh, be the first one in the inventory, or you can just go to Model and download it right here, uh, but yeah, so once you do that, um, it's going to have a few things in here, but I just want to quickly go through this. Of course, I a little added it in it. Uh, this is his original tutorial if you want to go watch it um but then you can of course watch mine here now that you're doing um but so one thing two things we're gonna have to do today um there is two links in the description there's a google.com and then there's a pastebin um now we're gonna be using these to actually make this uh tutorial um it's very simple nothing too crazy but um to really show you how this works you're gonna actually ungroup all these in the certain places so you know this will go in replicate storage this is gonna go in service script service it's gonna go in starter player scripts and then this is gonna go in starter GUI. You can just I'm just doing control U by the way. And keep this for now because we're actually gonna need this. But so um top bar, super simple. Um actually I can probably just play it for you and actually show you what it looks like, of course. Um I kind of did something just a little different. Oh, wait, why did that? Um I did something a little different. I just had a little top bar button. Um I might even do a caption that says like feedback, which you could do. I'll do that. Um but uh you can do whatever you like, you can set it to the right. Uh, but when I click it, of course, it's going to open a little thing. And if I go like this, it's going to just keep opening it. Um, I can also go like that. So whatever works. But it's just a little feedback UI. And then, of course, you type something in here. And then you're actually going to get an email specifically. Um, and it's going to look... Uh, some. Uh, I'll actually just show you what it looks like in a bit here. Um, let's do that in a sec. But it says who's it sent by. And then also um, sends what they were asking. So it's really cool. It actually works. And this is for your email. I preferably say this because I think Roblox actually got rid of the Discord um, thing. So that kind of sucks. But yeah, so now we have uh, emails. But this is pretty much better. So yeah, so um, depending on how you want to do this, like I said, this is a uh, top bar. Super easy. Um, you could do even image instead of set label. Um, and then I could do like a caption here. I think this is how you do it. Uh, or set caption. Yeah, set caption. And then I go like uh, send feedback. Um, and then of course um yeah so then we have the feedback gui itself um you can make this visible by going into the property and then also you can customize this to your liking um if you want to like lower it you want to put it somewhere else um, there's a lot of things you can do with this guy so feel free to be you know do do whatever you want to do you can make it a whole different color theme um, anything you want just make sure to be careful about uh touching anything inside of these two and then the submit button because of course, they are like the main buttons, and uh, you don't want those being messed up. Uh, but yeah, you can still change some things if you want, depending on what you want to do. But yeah, so um, when you're done touching it and editing it, you just go back and turn that visible off. Honestly, it doesn't even matter if you... Uh, well, it does kind of matter because it's going to be the first thing to start. But this is the main client we're going to talk about. Um, don't worry about the errors. And then the feedback server and the send feedback, which we're going to talk about. So client is kind of simple um it's basically we have a few functions get input close close clicked and spit clicked um basically uh we have these functions that are just uh checking when they click the button so the submit button and the close button when they do the close button of course it's going to run these little functions close uh and then when they do the submit button it's going to do the submit function and it's going to get their input by doing this get input and then if there's no input then we are going to just close it um and then we're going to return um and so then we're not going to do anything but also, yeah, we will do close uh, later. Um, that's going to close the GUI app, going to submit it, and then we're going to fire the server. But get input, basically, we have the subject and then the body text, which is going to be that little uh, that little thing we had. Um, but yeah, so we're going to make a little table right here, and we're going to set subject to the subject and body to the body. 
and we're going to send that input to the server. Um, and what we're doing basically is we're grabbing every text and string inside those basically, and we're checking C is greater than zero. So if there's if there is more if there's any text in it, and then we're going to send it to the server. Uh, and then when the server gets it, so that's when we go to the uh, events right here on feedback submitted. Um, so on server event, as you can tell, we're going to check if cooldown. So the cooldown should be um, uh, right here, which is going to be the player. Um, cooldown player equals true, feedback, uh, and then we set the feedback user ID. Um, this is that user ID we're actually sending to the emails, uh, which I'll talk about in a sec. Um, and then we're going to run that function on feedback submitted. And we're going to create a task.wait section to um, just wait a sec for the cooldown. Um, and then, of course, then we run when we run this, if not feedback, so if there's no feedback in it, then we're not going to do it. But if there is, then we are going to uh, return that uh, thing. And um, once again, we're going to return again and then uh, send feedback, which is going to be this uh, main feedback. Uh, there is a subject limit and a body limit. So by this, he means, you know, uh, a certain amount of text and characters. So... Um, characters are just letters um so do this to your liking if you don't want people just spamming your emails then you can change this to something higher uh subject is honestly pretty good uh, but yeah this is good so just so you don't prevent spam uh, but yeah so this is the send feedback little module script right here and how this works uh, sorry i'm gonna explain send feedback is this require um how this works is we're actually gonna grab this url which is a google script that we're going to talk about in a sec and um we are going to do a little um, async uh, p call function, and we're going to check if this worked and went through. And if it did go through, then we're going to say that it's successfully went through. If not, then it failed. But um, yeah, we're sending it through here, of course. I mean, right here. Um, and basically, all you have to do for this script to work is make this Google script. So I want you guys to head to the description and click that Google Apps loop, and it's going to look like this. All right, so it's going to look like this, and you're just going to click Start Scripting. Um, and once you do that, all you have to do is click new project and it's going to bring you into this little app script. Super simple, you guys. Um, and then there's just a little function. Um, and all you have to do really is then head over to this paste bin right here. Um, so as you can tell, there's this whole paste bin and I'm going to copy and paste all this. This is from how to Roblox. Um, so we'll bring this over here and we'll copy and paste it all. And then all you got to do is put your email in here. So I could put, um, Twin plays. Oh god, I don't think I do I know my email. Oh yeah, twin plays official gmail.com. Stupid. <laughs> uh at gmail.com. And then all you have to do is um yeah, so this is the function. Uh basically user ID, subject, um, and then description. Um and then of course we are going to uh send it to the place. Um so deploy, do deployment. Um you can name this how you want. Select type web app, so make sure you do this. And then anyone who has access, and then you're going to go and set this to feedback system. Uh, super easy. And then you're going to deploy. All right, once you do that, you have to hit authorize access. So make sure you do that. And then you go and click your little sign in, advance, go to Unproud Project, and hit allow. Um, now, once you get this, I don't care if you guys see this because I'm just going to uh you know delete it but <laughs> um there is this little deployment id you guys need so make sure to copy this and then uh yeah so then what i can do is um i basically am good to just close out of this but i'll just close it for now and you're gonna go back to here and you're gonna place id right in there so then of course um that's all you really need to do and once i just load into my game um if i just oh set caption was not oh yeah look at oh, that might work send feedback that's that's right so send feedback then if I go, hello, uh, here's some feedback. I believe that your game needs to work on this and this. Lol. La 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 la. Uh, don't spam me. Okay, man. Awesome. So, <laughs> submit. And then, uh, successfully sent feedback. So, now, um, as I already just got an email actually on my phone saying someone uh, sent me an email. So, um an email Ugh. um so actually i'm going to show you what it looks like uh if i go to email and i go into here all right so this is what it looks like uh since my user id and then it's uh here's the little subject and then um the text so that's pretty much it you guys uh super simple stuff nothing too crazy um i hope you guys kind of enjoyed that little tutorial i know how to roblox was originally made this but i decided to make it again uh just for fun to put it out there but yeah um, I hope you guys have a good one.
MCU in 